Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Yummy Brand of Yummy Crochetology and today's tutorial is this back to basic. <laughs> so it's back to basic easy textured summer bra. So it's very easy. It's just two cups and strings. But the challenge here is we will make a very textured bralette and it is inspired by local Philippine actress Anne Cartes. So I'm going to recreate that and try if I can pull this one out. So I want to I want you guys to crochet along with me and I will share this with you as a tutorial. And if you like what I'm doing here, tutorials and patterns and crochet stylings please don't forget to support and subscribe to my channel and hit some stickers that you fancy so let's move on this is the materials that we will be needing for this project i have here a very old yarn that i have in my stash that i haven't had a chance to use this it resembles the ones that ann curtis is wearing in her vacation photos so i'm gonna use this one and this is the color it's kind of like um beige and it's called alice diva if you want to check this one out i think i have a yarn haul that talks about this yarn so i'm gonna link that below in my description box below so you can check that one out there's a guide here in the side for a general sizing for the bra cup um, it's very general you can still customize your own size by adding more rows or deducting more rows it's really up to you so in my case i usually five to six inches so that's like small to medium um i sit between i don't want my bra cup a little bit um in the bigger side i want it in the smaller side also secure and make it comfortable and safe for me so i decided i will have a bra cup of 5.5 inches so grab your yarn and position yourself to start a knot however you're comfortable in making a knot okay so this is how I will start usually my project and we will start with a chain of 10 plus 1. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay and then plus 1. So there's your one chain. Now we will use the half double crochet across that 10 stitches so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over uh, pull it through in the first loop there should be three loops in your hook now yarn over and pull it through till the end and that is a half double crochet now you have to do that across so that's one, two, three, four, five, and ten. Make sure you have ten half double crochet at the end of this row chain of one and turn your work so now we're facing in the side of your work okay so what are we going to do is we will use a stitch called front post half double crochet First stitch is always half double crochet. This is the second stitch that we need to insert our hook. So this is your first stitch, which is a half double crochet. And these are the half double crochet. And the posts is the one we will insert our hook. So we will use the posts of these half double crochets. So yarn over. And insert your hook from the first side of this post so you have to insert your hook here and come out in the other side of the post so as you've seen here 
we're using the post of the half double crochet from the previous round. We're not using the top, which is the stitch or the loop. Instead, we're using the post. So these posts here of the half double crochet is where we will insert our hook. Hence, it is a half double crochet front post or front post half double crochet, okay? Again, yarn over, insert your hook around that post and then make a half double crochet front post. Okay, there you go. So continue that and make sure you have nine. So I have four now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven, eight, and nine. So now we have nine front posts half double crochet and again don't forget that there is one half double crochet in the beginning so in total that's 10 stitches okay and now in the center let's pull that out the last stitch or the center stitch where you started this one here that's the turning okay the additional chain one Oof we will increase in that center okay the increase here is two half double crochet one two so there's your two half double crochet now chain one and then half double crochet again in the same stitch okay so there's three now and there's a chain one and another half double crochet in the same stitch so there's two half double crochet, chain one and two half double crochet. And then place a stitch marker into your chain one so you will not lose it. Okay, it means that chain one is your increase section and that's the only part that you don't need to do a front post half double crochet. Now continue the nine front post double crochet in the side of your cup you will just have to follow those loops that you used in this side and it should be easier because there's already out so insert your hook here that's the first loop here okay that's the first loop and make a front post half double crochet so that's one and then there it's not really a loop it's more like the foundation chain okay but you have to align it with the previous um, loop or the other side loop so it's just like this like it's not really a loop it's like this the, the twisted chain when you started okay so there you go three four five six seven eight 
8 and 9. So this is my last uh, front pass half double crochet. And then on this last stitch, see that last stitch kind of like hiding behind this thing, you will place half double crochet on that last stitch. Okay, so that is our second row for this bra cup and we are actually facing the wrong side. So when you flip your work, chain one first and then flip your work you will see a textured cup now. And that is due to the fact that we are wrapping our yarn around the post instead of using the top of the stitches. Okay, so that's the second row. And once you're right side facing, we will use a half double crochet. So half double crochet into the next nine, 11 stitches before you will increase, okay? This time it's already 11 because we add two stitches when we increase. So always remember every time you have make another row, it's an increment of two, okay? So we should have 11 stitches in each side. So let's see, so that's one, two, this time it's just half double crochet. See that? Three, four, and 11. Okay, so maintain the stitches to have a nice straight edges at the bottom. We reach in the, on the top, which is the increase. So remove your stitch markers and make the increase, which is two half double crochet. Okay, and now chain one, and then another two half double crochet in the same stitch. One and two, okay? That's how we will increase all the time. And then place your stitch marker again in the chain one space. Do not forget that, we don't wanna lose that. And then another 11 half double crochet all the way down here. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and 11. Okay, so now we completed our third row. Now I'll show you again the repeat of the row two, and now we are in row four. So chain one, turn your work, always start with a half double crochet as the first stitch so that's count as one and the next stitch again around the post which is front post half double crochet so find that post insert your hook around that post and make a half double crochet so that's your two stitch three so since this is an increment of two we should have 13 stitches now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, And then 13, okay? The last post where you are gonna increase next. So we have 13 stitches now because we increased two stitches from previous round. So it's an increment of two. I have 13 front post half double crochet. Now I'm gonna increase here in the chain space, which is two half double crochet, that's one two, chain one, and another two half double crochet in the same stitch, one and two, okay? So always remember to count your stitches and there should be an increment of two every time you added a row and at the same time, um, always increase in the chain space. 
Now continue your front post half double crochet into the second side. So that's one front post half double crochet, uh, two front post half double crochet, three front post half double crochet, four, five, So the last stitch should be a half double crochet. So put half double crochet on top of that stitch to even with half double crochet here. So there's 13, 13, and that is our fourth row, wrong side facing. Now chain one and turn your work. So that is our repeat row, the row two and row three. The wrong side is when we create the textured, which is the front post half double crochet and then the right side is when you just make a regular half double crochet around. Always remember there is an increment of two, increment of two or added two stitches every row and we always increase in the space at the top and then complete or continue your repeat row two and row three until you reach your desired length, I mean desired size cut. Okay, in my case, I stopped 5.5. Okay, so I stopped 5.5. So I need this much of a cup at the base of my cup to accommodate my boobs size. So continue that until you have this big of a cup and then we will attach a, if you prefer, we will attach a bra padding or cup and then also we will line using a, well, this one is not really stretchable material, but if you can get a stretchable material, that's perfect, uh, spandex or something, and it's cotton, so I think I like this one. So we will line this cup. So I'll meet you then once we already have two cups. So for my size 5.5 um, inches, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight ridges or this textured thing. I have eight total of that ridges. I just counted that instead of the actual rows. So to actually not confuse me, so each ridges should have two rows, the actual half double crochet and the ridges or this textured. So that's like two rows in it. So if there's eight ridges, uh, roughly I have roughly I have 16 rows. So let's end this bra cup first. I am ending the row with a half double crochet rows. So we have half double crochet here. So there's one in two stitches left. So half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch or the stitch, yarn over, pull it through. There should be three loops in your hook, yarn over and pull it through till the end. And there's another one last here, um, brightly. So I have here my two cups. And I will just show you quickly what I did. Do not cut off yet. We have to do some borders here. So just like this one here in the first cup, I have here the borders already or the edging just to clean it up. So there is a single crochet last row here. So I end up in the side and make my way at the bottom. So if you've noticed, this cup is a little bit squished in at the bottom while this one is still um, spread out. So chain one, okay, that's a chain one. So there is a stitch here, which is the ridges. This is the ridges stitch. So skip that, okay, skip that one and move to this stitch here, which is the turning chain of the half double crochet. And what are you gonna do is you place um, two single crochet, that's one, and two okay again skip the ridges stitch which is this one go straight to the next stitch which is the turning chain of the half double crochet from the previous row and again place two single crochet in there okay skip and single crochet next skip single crochet next
skip single crochet next. The reason for that is skip single crochet, skip single crochet, okay, then skip single crochet, you always have to have the single crochet, skip single crochet here in the middle, which is like the very center stitch. And again, try to bury the tail as you go along. Skip this. That ended at the base part of the cup. Um, two single crochet in here, right after this ridges. So now we reach into the corner of your cup. So what are we gonna do here is we will place a corner stitches. So single crochet two times. So that's one and two. Now chain one and then again two single crochet in the same stitch which is your corner of your bra cup. One and two. Okay the only reason I did that is I wanted to really like tell you that it's the corner to have that corner edge. Okay now, single crochet every stitches around the cup all the way to the top and go back in the other side of the cup and end here with a corner. Okay, so let's do that. So just single crochet in every stitches, okay, around the cup. I am here at the end and if you've noticed I have one stitch left and then the two single crochet the two single crochet the very beginning of this row so I'll end up here with one single crochet and then we will make a corner in this one here so single crochet two that's one and two then chain one and slip stitch to the first single crochet we made for this row okay just to complete the corner um, steps for your bra now we're done with the bra cup i have this kind of cups the rounded one. Oh, it's a little bit dirty but anyways i have the rounded one and i don't have the triangular if like me you have the if like me you have the rounded one we will just trim it to fit into our cup make sure when you trim it it's a little bit smaller than the actual um, crochet cup we still need to sew the end i mean edges into the bra cup itself so you, you need to have a little bit of spacing when you are sewing them, okay? So now get your fabric, get your actual bra cup, the crocheting, crocheted one, and then we will use that to trace a fabric. Just copy the actual shape of your bra. And this is the actual line for the size of your cup. Now I want you to have at least half an inch. You do a half an inch, another line half an inch around the actual line of your cup. This will serve as the folded side of your cup. Okay, we will fold that. The second line is where you will cut. Do not cut the, the inner, do not cut the inner line. Instead, cut out from the outer line, this one here. Okay, this is the folded seam. You will fold it that way, iron it, and then we're ready to go and attach it to our bra cup. I finished the other cups um, 
lining. This is what it looks like at the back when it's finished. This is exactly the same yarn as the um, yarn that I use, but you can definitely use a sewing thread. Now we will stitch this into the crochet cup. Again, using a sharp darning needle here, just that I don't have the same color as this one. So now we will sew this cup to the actual crochet. Uh, we will start in the middle and we will come out here. This is the only part where we attach the actual cup or the cup padding to the crochet pieces. So that's how I attach the bra cup and it should be not moving anymore. And from there, we will start attaching our actual fabric. Okay, so first off is you line your fabric like that. And then, so this is the top. And um, this is the bottom. And when you do that, I folded the middle like this. Align with this in the side and in the side and then just pin them here in the middle. Okay, so that's how I started my fabric lining and then I start sewing at the top going down. Okay, and we try to hide this black thing as much as we can and fold it like that to the bra cup and make sure you have one row poking out of the fabric the reason for that is we still need that row for our actual crochet edging So using this same yarn and darning needle to attach this one and I started at the top because it's more comfortable for me to do a back stitch if it's from the top and I also have these markings in my fingertips in my thumb this is a half an inch it's just um, basically a guide how far my stitches are so the actual fabric start back and forth little snippets of stitches and also do not forget to fold it and this will come in handy now you will mark your stitches like that so my next stitch should be here So I reached here where we have a folded thing at the bottom. So it's the same procedure. We'll just follow the ones that we outline and fold that and stitch them up with the actual crochet garments. But make sure you have the row one or a row out poking. And as for this one, it's just a folded thing that you have to, well, stitch them up too like that so there's like three fabrics going on here that you need to stitch up or stitch them up or sew them together and we're done Okay, jokey. So this is what it looks like right now. This is what it looks like in the front. We'll start with the straps. So we will chaining 80 here and then another 80 here and then we will attach it for the last, okay? Start this one and in the corner of that cup, attach your yarn. Secure that yarn and make a chain of around 80 to 100 
And I have here my last stitch, 100. Cut it off, repeat the chain of 100 into the other side. So I settled 400. So I repeat your chain of 100 in this side. Now skip one and half double crochet next. So skip that stitch and half double crochet next. So there's your one half double crochet. And two, three, four, five, six, So continue your half double crochet every stitches across this strap all the way to the bottom of this cup and then I'll meet you once we have to connect this two. So now we are here at the very center of this cup. So I have, uh, I half double crochet my way. Now we are going to connect this cup to this cup, wrong side facing like so. So I will insert my hook in that last stitch, okay? And also insert your hook in the very beginning stitch or corner of this cup like so and pull it through all the way to the end okay now two cups is attached using a half double crochet now continue your half double crochet into the second cup now now you are connected the cup is connected right now let's have a look and there you go okay now continue your half double crochet all the way again to the hundred chain here in the side i'm here at the end and i'll just finish it off with one half double crochet at the very end secure your yarn and then cut off so yes we will cut off the yarn this is pretty much how our straps straps will look like insert your hook in the most corner of your cup so chain three skip two and single crochet chain three skip two and single crochet chain three skip two single crochet okay so continue the pattern around the bra cup only So from here all the way here jump over continue into the bra cup here and here and then we'll proceed to the row two when I say jump in this side it means you skip the three stitches here you skip the three stitches here and place your single crochet into the next stitch just right after this um, straps that's where i say jump you just have to do not pay attention of the straps instead pay attention of your skip stitches and then where you place the stitch right after so apparently there is a chain three here that is poking in the side of your um, bra cup when you reach in the center of your bra cup instead of skipping three stitches I mean two stitches we skip five stitch each side of the cup so there's five here five here and that's where we place our next stitch which is a single crochet chain three first so that's one two and three then place the single crochet into that next stitch after the skip five so it should look like this in the middle we skip five only the center ones that we skip five the rest should be skip two and chain three so 
so I am here in the side now and I'll just have to um, skip this so chain three one two and three and then there's not much stitches to skip here so skip all the way here and slip stitch into your chain first stitch okay to end this row so now the border the first row of the edging for the cup is finished let's proceed to our next row for the edging and this time we are still the same i mean we're still following the same direction of the cup edging okay and it's still right side facing so this time we are working into the chain spaces that we made okay so in that chain space of three you have to single crochet three times one and bury this tail two and three okay and then after your three chain i mean three single crochet make another chain three one two and three and if you've noticed at the base of your chain three it's like like that upside down v at the base of that there's two loops that's where you will insert your hook to create us to create a pico okay and slip stitch and there's your pico then again another single crochet three times in the same chain space to complete the pico fan okay so there's your first pico fan okay again repeat that in the next chain space so that's one two and three chain three one two and three slip stitch at the base of your chain three which is this one there's two loops make a slip stitch and another chain three in the same chain space so that's one two and three okay so that's how we make the edging again you just have to follow the direction of your bra cup so we are here at the end of this borders and I have here my last chain space so again three single crochet that's one two and three then chain of three to make a pico and slip stitch to the base of your chain three and another single crochet three times into that chain space okay and slip stitch to the first stitch here to close this row and secure that yarn so that's the end of our cups borders and this is what it looks like okay and i already have here one of the straps um, attached so let me quickly show you the actual garment this is what it looks like right now it is very pretty it has a nice cathedral looking um, gothic style edging it's very simple it's very easy to make and definitely a must garment this summer now i have here in the other cup one of the sleeves done and the other is um we need to make sleeves i mean straps so I place the stitch marker at the very peak of the cup where I want my straps and then we will attach our yarn in there. Okay, so we will attach our yarn there at the very peak or the top of your cup and secure that yarn and make a chain of three. So that's one, two and three. And then in the stitch right next to that chain three you have to make a double crochet so yarn over insert your hook in that stitch yarn over and pull it through there should be three loops in your hook right now and yarn over pull it through in the first two loops yarn over and pull it through till the end and that is the first row of your straps 
second is chain four one two and three and four and double crochet in between these two straps or two strands i mean post from the previous round so double crochet just in the middle okay i insert my hook right in the middle of that posts and make a double crochet so that's pretty much the second row of your straps again chain four one two three and four and double crochet again and place it in the middle of these two posts okay so when you say two posts is that it's your chain three i mean chain four and double crochet from the previous row so that's one two three rows and in my case i have 60 rows okay so you can either add more rows or reduce the amount of rows it depends how long you want your straps and that's the end of my row for this part make a chain of 20. the reason is i will probably put a pearl or a beads in there Again, this is a personal preference set. It's really up to you if you want some blends into your um, garments. This is so pretty. It's perfect for that summer holiday that you've been preparing all year round. And this is so beautiful. The texture is gorgeous. The cathedral style, I kind of like calling it cathedral. It kind of reminded me of those gothic or of a cathedral building, the edges so yeah i keep calling it cathedral edges is very pretty so thank you so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learn from this if you have questions and some clarifications when it comes to the pattern comment in the comment section so i can help you out how to make this pattern and also i will be releasing a written pattern for this cup so stay tuned for that but also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support my channel if you like my content so i can continue making patterns and tutorials for you all so thank you so much and i hope to see you again sometime next week and don't forget to tag me how you style your bra cup summer bra cup thank you and goodbye